All right, so this is my long-term use review of the stop box. So for those of you that may not be familiar with it, the stop box is not a handgun safe, it's a handgun retention device. And what this basically means is that it is a box to secure your firearm, mainly from small children, um, and still have it easily accessible in the event that you need it. The reason why I got this is I was looking for something I could have next to my bed at nighttime, or something I could carry in the car with me when I wasn't actively carrying a gun on me, to be able to get to my handgun quickly and easily if I needed to without having to worry about mistyping a combination or my thumb not being on a thumbprint reader properly or batteries dying or needing a spare key or any of the other things that go with 99% of safes. This one is all manual as I'll show you in a second to be able to open and close. But the way it's built, it's built in such a way that small children will not be able to open this. Um, even if they use both hands and know the exact combination, it would be extremely difficult for small children to open this. So for those of you with young kids, maybe like five and under, six and under maybe, depending on how uh, your child is, they probably will not be able to open a box like this. But you can get to the firearm extremely quickly in the event that you need to. I can open this consistently within one to two seconds. Um, all it is right here is you place your hand on top of the box. You have to put downward pressure. Uh, if you can see it right here, the box squeezes ever so slightly and it needs to be in the downward position in order for these tabs to move. These tabs right here are locked right now. If I push it, they unlock. If it's not pushed, they're locked in place, so you cannot move the tabs. So in order to open this, you have to press down, you have to push your combination on the top, and then push your thumb in on the side, and the box will open, and then it locks back in place right here. So if you even if you know the combination, but you don't push down on the box at all, it's not gonna open, it's gonna stay locked. I pushed down right there, it opened. Now if I do the combination, but I don't put any downward pressure, uh, nothing's gonna happen. This thumb one stays in the locked out position, so it locks the box closed. Uh, so all you do is put your hand on it, push down, and you can open the box extremely quickly. The things are spread out in such a way that small hands would not be able to grip over the entire thing and be able to apply downward pressure and click in the proper buttons needed to open it up. Now, this is not a safe, again, because this is extremely easy to get into by any adult or even an older child. Because of the way this is set up, there's four tabs in the top, and there's one right here. The way you get it from the factory, there's only six possible combinations this box can have. So, if you have no idea what the combination is, you only have to try six different things to get into this. So this is not something that's gonna prevent an adult from getting in here and accessing a firearm. This is specifically just to conceal a firearm and to prevent small children or people like that to be able to get into the firearm, but you can still access it quickly. So like I said, my reason for this is to have this next to my bed at nighttime. That way I can feel confident when it's in that drawer in my nightstand that uh, if my three-year-old wanders in there and finds this box, even though he knows not to touch this, even if he tried his best, he should probably not be able to get into uh, this retention device. And so I sleep a little better that way, and I also sleep better knowing that if I need my gun, I don't have to worry about charging my safe or anything else that goes along with that. I can open it up with just uh, one to two seconds. And there we go, close. So after six months of use, uh, I very much like this. I use it in the car all the time when I can't carry my gun into a different store or wherever I'm going. If I do not want to carry my firearm with me, I can stick it in this and then stick this in either uh, the center console or under the seat or something like that. So even if people look into the vehicle and they see this, they likely will not know what it is. Um, and it also, again, in the car prevents my children from gaining access to it. But let me open this up and show you how it works. So in here you can see you place your firearm, it's got foam that's glued on the top and bottom and this pinches the firearm in there because there's like no space really between these two foam pieces. So when a firearm's in there, it pinches the firearm in place. So as you can tell, if the firearm's in there, I'm going to lock it. There's no wobbling or anything like that. The gun is not moving at all. It's completely locked into place. Now after using this for six months, uh, you can still see 
There's some dents in the foam, indents. It's definitely not as puffy as it used to be, but it still locks the gun in there perfectly. Currently, I have um, this Shadow Systems MR920 in here, but I've also had at times even two handguns in here. I've had my wife's uh, Ruger LCP and then a Taurus PT111, which is nine millimeter, and they actually fit perfectly opposite directions right here in here together. So I've even had two handguns in here and it's worked well for that. And both of those, since the foam adjusts, uh, lock those guns into place and they don't move at all. So the combination right here, you can see there's these little tabs and the tabs go down and there's a locking mechanism in here. Now you can change which tabs need to be pressed by unscrewing this. There's a plate and you can move and adjust these tabs so you can say which ones you want to open the device. The way it comes from the factory, it's these two outside ones. So if you press these two outside tabs and then the thumb one, the box is gonna open. I've actually never changed mine from that. I have no need to change mine from that. Um, but these two tabs right here plus the thumb one opens it up and let me we'll lock it back in place here. Again, downward pressure, thumb, side, and then it opens up. This is made out of ABS, so it's not uh, made out of aluminum or anything like that, but it saves cost that way. It also saves on a ton of weight. One thing I would like to see them do uh, is to use metal components for this locking mechanism. Everything with this locking mechanism on this box that I have right here is all ABS. All of these different things in here are ABS plastic except for the screws and the springs. Everything else in this is plastic. Now I will say one of the issues I was having with this box is that it would not close like right now. It's locked in the open position. I had to put in the little combination there and then it'll close. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to stay locked in the open position until it closed and it snaps shut. Now I guess what the problem is that this plastic piece right here um, is not working the way it's supposed to but in the future models they've made this metal uh, and it actually locks open and then locks and closes properly. I contacted customer support, they let me know that and they offered to send out a free uh, metal piece to put in there to be able to fix this issue. I haven't gotten that piece yet but I'm sure it'll solve the issue once I get it and I really appreciated them uh, being willing to send that out even though I didn't buy the current model that has the metal piece instead of this plastic piece. But overall, for the price of this box, I would have liked to see metal internal components here just because I think they would have lasted longer and are slightly more reliable than the plastic counterparts they have. But other than it not closing consistently, uh, I've never had any other issues with this and I'd much rather have problems with it closing than opening and I've never had an issue with it not opening properly. So it serves the purpose I want it to. Uh, it's super discreet box. It doesn't look like a gun safe like a lot of gun safes do. It just looks like a, a box. Uh, you wouldn't really be able to tell what is inside of it. And also, you wouldn't really be able to know exactly how to open it if you weren't familiar with this thing. I'm sure you'd figure it out after a little while, but it's not necessarily extremely intuitive if you've never used something like this. So it does prevent some random person from immediately accessing it. But of course, given a little bit of time, anyone could access this that's an adult. So it's mainly to prevent children from gaining access. But after six months, I highly recommend this. I use this all the time. I have it by my bed every single night. I bring it with me in the car. Uh, it fits up to a full-size handgun. I've seen Glock 17s put in here with a uh, the Surefire, uh, I think it's the X300, the long light that sticks out further, um, and it still fits in just fine. So pretty much any handgun will fit in here. Uh, and yeah, I have nothing, nothing really negative to say other than the one thing that prevents it from closing, but customer service is taking care of that. And so I respect the company for doing that. And that really took away the only negative side I had about this. On the bottom, there are four rubber feet, or I should say there were four rubber feet. I just noticed one of mine is missing there. Um, well, there used to be four rubber feet that would prevent it from uh, moving on a surface. So that way when you go to apply pressure to open it, the box doesn't slide forward and it doesn't scratch whatever surface it's on. So I'll have to find that one, but it still works the way it is. So this is the stop box. I'll leave the link in the description below where you can find it on Amazon. Uh, but let me know if you guys have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks.